insert CD into CD-ROM and boot from CD okay now type expert here this will be an expert installation in case you want to boot from your USB flash disk you, you want to install it on your USB flash disk so you can use okay skip this CD test okay now I have to install this on my hard disk I have four disks installed in this and three will be used as storage for storage device and one will be used for the operating system so I'm installing from the CD-ROM to my operating system I'll hide this help okay click next US keyboard yes next ignore this error ignore this is uh, my CPU error okay keep it okay manually I'll configure this as I told you I have four disks so I'll be using disk 1 for my boot this will be root partition ext3 and 1 GB okay and this will be my primary partition click OK next will be my root partition which will be on first hard disk root or boot okay root I have already created okay I'll make it as a boot partition this will be xt3 and again on first hard disk and 1 GB 1024 MB and again this will be my primary partition and okay now third partition I have to create a swap partition swap okay again on first hard disk I don't want to touch other three hard disks so I'll be using one okay let it make 2 GB 2048 MB and then it will be filled to maximum allowable size okay and then force we will not force this as primary partition because this is swap okay now my partition has been created in my first hard disk and three hard disks are remained okay I'll click next I'll configure this uh, LAN card using DHCP server so I don't want to change this IP address here I'll click next I'll choose the time zone it's my location is Dubai so I'll be changing from map Dubai. next okay my password for root next okay now package is it's reading the package from the CD and click next now the operating system is being installed I have to wait until the reboot screen appears okay now reboot So once I'll reboot it will automatically take the IP address from DHCP server okay now you can see on screen DHCP server has provided the IP address now I'll use the web user interface okay now it's done